Merrimack TV is committed to our community. From gavel to gavel coverage of town and school board meetings, to updates on town services and projects, we aim to keep you connected. Uh, good morning, I'm Kyle Fox, Public Works Director for the Town of Merrimack. Hi, I'm Diane Trippett. I'm the Town Clerk Tax Collector for the Town of Merrimack. I'm Captain Matt Tarleton with the Merrimack New Hampshire Police Department. And keep the public informed of every motion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. And many moments, so you can be confident that we're here for you. Thanks for watching. Stay connected. Follow Merrimack TV on Facebook. Welcome everyone to the band portion of our concert today. My name is Pat Cunningham. I'm band director at the high school here. As you can see, the pandemic has forced us to do many changes this year, especially with PPE specific to band instruments. But we are internally grateful that we're still able to rehearse and perform this year. Our next concert will be Tuesday, May 18th. We are hoping to have a live performance with a limited audience, depending on what the COVID situation is, will determine um, the size of our audience. The songs we're performing today are those that we recorded for the large group band festival last week. While all of our festivals have been virtual this year, we've still been able to participate and receive comments from adjudicators. The first piece we're going to play for you is a festival prelude by Alfred Reed. It's a staple in the band literature. It will start off with brass fanfares, followed by woodwind flourishes, and again end with the opening fanfare. I hope that you enjoy a festival prelude.
before we play our next piece, I would like to recognize those selected for all state music groups this year. Ruth Ellis and Trey Grant were selected to the all state jazz band. Please stand and be acknowledged. We had a tremendous number of students selected for the All-State Band this year. In fact, Merrimad had by far the largest number of students selected to the All-State Band. I would like these students to also stand and be recognized. Aubrey Connolly, Abigail Cody, Kelly Dustin, Ruth Ellis, Jenny Epstein, Katherine Janicki, Gavin Kurdek, Amber Lyons, Akira McDowell, Chase Rowe, and Clara Schaefer. Congratulations to these students. Next we follow with a gorgeous arrangement of Franz Schubert's Ave Maria. This Frank Tichelli arrangement is very reverent and beautifully scored, which adds to the depth and grace to this work. Ave Maria.
to close our portion of the concert, we conclude with Prelude, Siciliano, and Rondo by Malcolm Arnold. This work is indicated in the title is in three separate movements. The prelude begins bombastically with fanfare style, but then winds down to a quiet return at the very end of the movement and finally fades away. The Siciliano is both slower and more expressive, affording solo instruments and smaller choirs of sound to be heard. It too ends softly. The rondo provides a romping finale in which the technical brilliance of the band shines through. Malcolm Arnold's Prelude, Siciliano, and Rondo. <laughs>
Welcome to the choir portion of the concert. Um, this is this group's first performance since December 2019, uh, which I had to check the calendar on because I didn't believe it when I first uh, remembered that. But we have uh, been a while without a concert, so we're very excited to come back together and perform for uh, you this evening or this morning, whenever you're watching. Um, our first piece is by a composer named Luigi Cherubini, who was composing in the transition area between the classical and the romantic. The first composer we typically think of for this time is Beethoven. And while Cherubini wasn't, um, doesn't sort of echo through history the way Beethoven does, he was well respected in, in his time, and Beethoven called him his most accomplished contemporary. Cherubini wrote lots of opera music, but towards the end of his life, he moved towards smaller works, motets and hymns. We have a short hymn for you uh, this evening by him, and this is uh, Veni Yesu by Cherubini. There'll be two short incidental soloists by uh, Sam Pittman and Tim Yawn. Our next piece uh, steps backward in history to the 1500s, um, and it's by Giovanni Perluigi da Palestrina. Um, the legend goes that in the midst of the Protestant Reformation, um, the Catholic Church responds with the Council of Trent. And uh, there's a particularly conservative uh, council on music that says we're going to get music out of the worship service, we're not going to use it anymore, and Palestrina thunders into the room and says, no wait, I can do it. I can write music that will satisfy all of your requirements and still be beautiful and be appropriate. Um, whether or not that story is entirely true or mostly apocryphal or just got jazzed up for the history books, what is absolutely undeniable is that Palestrina's music has survived for 500 years because he is a master of simple, elegant, beautiful choral writing. Um, this is one of the most beautiful pieces of Western music ever written, um, and you'll, 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 you'll hear why in a couple minutes. Um, this is the height of what we call imitative polyphony. So what you're going to hear is one melody line in one of the voice parts, in this case the tenors, which then gets imitated in the altos and then in the sopranos and then finally the basses. And this music just spins out as everyone elaborates and does their own take on, on this very beautiful melody written by Palestrina. Uh, please enjoy Sicut Cervus.
Our next piece um, steps totally sideways, different part of the world, different era in time. Um, we've had a lot of fun preparing this one. Uh, it's called Desh, and it's a piece of music by Ethan Sperry, uh, which is very heavily inspired by Indian classical music. So we've spent a lot of time um, this semester and last semester also working on finding the similarities between the two styles of music, but also sort of enjoying the, those, those differences we found as well. Um, perhaps the most salient difference you'll find is that um, in Western music, we tend to arrange our, our, our modes in terms of major and minor, and Indian classical music does something very different. Their scales are arranged into things called rogs, which are sometimes kind of major, sometimes sort of minor, and sometimes really neither at all. Um, and so this is based on a rog called desh. And we will hear, um, so, so you'll hear those, those, those altered tones where it doesn't quite sound like something we are familiar with. Um, and we've had a lot of fun putting this one together. This is far and away the most difficult piece I've ever asked this choir to do. And they have done a really great job. I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of the work that they've put into this one. So please enjoy Desh. Thank <laughs> you. 
and thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Abby Osborne and I'm the president of the chorus and we'd like to um, give a huge thank you to Mr. Beck. Um, every year, but especially especially this year, um, whether we've been over Zoom or in two different groups, um, he's always found a way to make sure that we're singing together and we're learning and we're growing. No matter what's going on in the world, we're still fit. He's finding creative ways to make stuff like this happen. So thank you so much. Hi, I'm Ashley Farah and I am the Vice President and once again thank you to Mr. Beck. Uh, I can say especially with you know COVID and everything, almost every class has gotten more stressful and I can say that Chorus has been the only class that I had that has not. How Mr. Beck has been so flexible with everything and always trying to look out the best for us is amazing. So we have a couple things. We have some flowers and we have a thing of note cards. Um, each one of us has written a note to thank you. <laughs> so you can read through them later. So thank you so much. Well, thank you. Um, I will definitely have to read these later. I'm not even gonna think about them for the moment. Um, thank you. I mean, this is, uh, I, I, I love doing this. I love you people. Um, this is, uh, it's been a really hard year. Um, and it's been great to be able to come in and make music with you. And I appreciate so much all of your hard work and your dedication and um, your willingness to put up with the crazy things I ask you to do. So uh, thank you very much. Thanks. echo uh, some of the comments that the students just made. It's been a bit of a crazy year, um, and we have tried to make as much as close to normal as possible while accepting that that's really not been possible. Um, and so one of the things that we have been able to do, I'm very glad the New Hampshire Music Educators Association decided that this year we would still do our all-state festivals. Um, they've been virtual, they've been distance and safe, but really provide that opportunity for students to, um, to learn and to grow and to take that on in, in, in a year where all of our plates are already very full. So um, we've had two students in the choir who participated in those festivals um, and we're very proud of them. We'll recognize them for just a moment. Um, for the Allstate Jazz Choir, uh, Sophia Desolitz was selected. Um, that was back in February. And then in just a couple of weeks, we have our Allstate Classical uh, Festival, which will feature again, Sophia Desolitz and Caitlin Lavallee. And 
we can celebrate them. Um, so we've talked enough about how difficult this year has been. Um, and I think one of the things that I'm going to take away from it is how important those connections we are, that we have with each other, that we've been missing this past year. Um, and so this piece of music is called Connected, and it just celebrates the way that we're all connected to one another. Um, we have a lot of fun with it. I hope you enjoy. Connected by Brian Tate. Eight, I am, you are me. That's what I said. I am, you are me. Don't you see? I am, you are me. That's what I said. I am, you are me. Don't you see? I am, you are me. That's what I said. I am, you are me. Don't you see? Seems like I I'm over am here, you are me. and you're over there. That's what but there's I something I between us me. that's greater than air. Don't you see? Seems like I I'm over here, you and me. you're over there. That's but what there's I something I between you us are me. that's greater than air. Don't you see? Seems like I I'm over here, you you are me. and me. you're over there. That's what there's I there's 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 something between us that's greater than air. Don't you see? Seems like I'm over here, you are me. I'm not 